friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I have a birthday book haul for you. So, the month of July was my birthday month. So, I did a little bit of spending. And I really haven't been buying books this year, which is why I gave myself a little leeway to go ahead and just kind of go a little crazy with the buying um, this past month and I just wanted to treat myself and celebrate the fact that I made it to 28. So I want to share all the books that I bought with you guys. So most of these are from like mm, people recommendation videos or like friends so bear with me. So first things first, I did receive some gifts from one of my friends. Robin from Robin Reads sent me three books, which I am so grateful for her doing that because I love her. And so the first book she sent me was A Sign of Affection by Sue Morishita, volume 7. So I absolutely adore this manga and I've been like following along with it for a bit. Su Morishita is like a really cute author like that I love in the shoujo realm and there's another series that she's written that I believe they are publishing now and I read it a few years ago don't ask me how I read it but I did it and I loved it so much so I'm glad that she's getting more recognition I guess um, because I think she writes cute stories and I think she writes cute characters so um this follows a girl who is deaf and she meets a boy that is hearing and she falls in love with him at first sight and so it's kind of about them as a couple coming together and kind of entering into each other's worlds and just really learning how to like communicate and love all right and for reference just because I want to talk about it. I didn't buy this recently, but um, this is the other Sumo Ishita series. It's called Like a Butterfly. It follows, so this is volume two. My volume one is packed up, but I'm continuously trying to keep keep up with buying the volumes just because I would love to own this series physically. But this follows a girl who is very beautiful. And so because she's beautiful, she like has always been the center of attention. And so when she was younger, like, boys would pick on her because she was so pretty and she was just so spacey. And so due to that, she's just very, very shy. She, like, really doesn't speak very much unless it's to her very close friends. And so um, at the start of the story, she is starting high school. And, of course, all the guys are in love with her. They're kind of being very intense and they're kind of scary. And she runs into this boy who, like, doesn't fawn all over her like the rest of the boys and that kind of catches her attention and then he kind of also like is intrigued by her but also like overwhelmed because she's so popular and it's like a cute little love story just about these two kids who are like trying to figure out high school and relationships. Robin also got me Bewitched by Laura Thalassa. Alright, so it's about a girl who is a witch, and so she's supposed to be studying at this academy, and then she ends up having to, like, go to the wilderness in South America to, like, do her studies, and there's, like, some type of evil awakening god thing. That's all I got, but it sounded interesting, and I'm intrigued, so... We're going to give it a try. And then the last book um, Robin got me was Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. So um, when we were in Chicago, I um, a couple of us found these two poetry books. This one and then her other one, The Way Back Home. And we kind of really enjoyed them. Like we opened up the first couple of pages and read them. And so we decided we were going to all like kind of read them together maybe. So... Um, I grabbed The Way Back Home as well in Chicago, but I've already started it and I've been like annotating it. I haven't really touched a poetry book in a while, so I'm definitely intrigued to check these out. So super excited. Thank you to Robin for sending me these gifts. Simon Teen sent me a copy of Reckless by Lauren Roberts, which I'm actually almost done with currently. So thank you to them for that because I really enjoyed Powerless. 
I kind of enjoyed the novella powerful so I was definitely intrigued to see where this was gonna go and I'm definitely intrigued to see how this trilogy is gonna end next year because things are crazy so some other books that I had picked up in Chicago during our trip so uh, I picked up this copy of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen I really enjoy this book I love the movie with Karen Knightley it's my favorite I kind of watch it as a comfort watch at this point but I thought this version was beautiful like I really loved the like inside and then the gold edges and so yeah I just <laughs> I even loved like how tiny the font is and I think I've kind of made it a thing now where I just collect pretty editions of Pride and Prejudice and I'm not ashamed. Next um, I picked up uh, The Classic Tales of Horror by Edgar Allan Poe so Monet, Robin, and I have been kind of working through some classics, and so I think this is one of our next reads of it we're eventually going to hit up, um, just because we were talking about Edgar Allan Poe and how we kind of dabbled in him in school with like middle school and stuff, so we're going to give some of these a try. So it includes The Fall of the House of Usher and The Mask of the Red Death, um, and then I think it's the black cat, the pit and the pendulum, and the cask of Amontillado. So, and then there's like, I think some more. Next, I have Maya and the Rising Dark by Rena Barron. Um, this sounded really interesting. It's about a little girl who is growing up on the south side of Chicago and she witnesses color bleed from the world. And so she, her like mission, I guess, is to bring color back. I thought this was super interesting and like cute sounding. So I snagged it when we went to um, one, of the one of the bookstores in the city. And then the last book I snagged in Chicago was um, Winterhorn Home for Vengeance and Valor by Allie Carter. I believe this is about a girl who is sent to a orphanage or like it sounds like it's kind of like a finishing school slash orphanage and she's trying to figure out where her mother is from what it sounds like um i really enjoyed ali carter's ya series uh the gallagher girls so i want to give her middle grade a try and see if i could love it as well so the rest of these are just books that i bought using a birthday gift card I had. I bought um, a couple more middle grades. I bought Green Wild by Perry Thompson, a girl whose mom has vanished uh, and she is on the run and then I think she ends up in some type of magical green world or something like that. So the cover really looked really cute. It sounded really interesting when I was looking at it online. So I'm kind of excited to check this out because I've been wanting to get more into middle grade and so I'm trying to find things that are piquing my interest and catching my eyes if that makes sense. The next book I grabbed was The House at the Edge of Magic by Amy Sparks about an orphan who discovers like a mysterious magical house. Next I bought The Dangerous Ones by Lauren Blackwood. Um, this one is about like the Civil War it's black and it's it's taking the place during the time of the Civil War but there are vampires I guess I think I was intrigued by the vampire aspect which is why I got it so the next couple of books are books that I saw on Stephanie Bookish's channel in like some of her reading blogs and they the way she described them sounded really really interesting to me so that's why I picked them up so the first one I have here is Blood and Steel by Helen Schur so it's about this girl whose death has been foretold and so then she makes it her mission to become a warrior in her society but the thing is women are forbidden from like becoming warriors and wielding weapons and stuff. I was definitely intrigued by the like death being foretold but I also love stories where the woman becomes like the warrior so I'm hoping this is good. Then I got um, Reign of Shadows and Endings by Melissa K. Rorick. I believe this is about a world where the gods are like gone and so there are favored children um, who choose like Faye to become their servant and a girl gets chosen. Alright, um, and then next I have Spark of the Everflame by Penn Cole. 
Um, I already read this. I loved it. It was so good to me. It follows this girl who, they live in this world where they have, um, the descended and they're like powerful people, like people with powers. And then like the non-descended are the ones who don't have powers. And so, um, the descended are the like higher class ones that are kept within the kingdom. And then the everybody else just like lives outside of like the kingdom outside the gates and stuff and so this girl she like is different but she doesn't know how she's different or at least she ignores the probability of why she's different <laughs> and her mom disappears so she has to take her mom's place as like the palace healer and so she starts to get intertwined more with the descended and starts to really learn about them and like their abilities and stuff and so you're trying to figure out like what happened to her mom but then also like why she's different and why the descended seems so familiar to her it's i ended up it's so good i loved it next this was a monet recommendation all about love by bell hooks um i don't even know i'm not even gonna describe this because i don't know i know it's like her talking about love and relationships but i don't know all the details but i just know monet said it was good and so i bought it all right, next, I picked this up at Target because I saw it and I was like, I gotta get it. But I got um, the paperback edition of Glow by Raven Kennedy. I'm trying to get the paperback editions of these books. So when I saw it, I picked it up. I've already read this. <laughs> I love the series so much. So there we are. All right, and the last two books. So we're finally done. So the last two books I grabbed. So I know Spark of the Everflame picked up. And so... The last book, unfortunately, I was so excited because we started the series and I was like, ooh, it's gonna, it's, the last book comes out at the end of July, so I'm gonna be able to just like speed read through and be done. Joke's on me, because I don't know why I ever think the world is gonna work with me like that. But uh, the last book got pushed back because of whatever reason, which I hate when publishers, like I love when indie books get picked up by publishers, but I hate when they do it in the middle of the series because then that means the next book is always going to be pushed back and it's really, really annoying when that happens because like at this point I built it up and I'm like, I've set the date that it's supposed to come out in my head and now you pushed it back and now I'm frustrated because I got to wait longer because of all the re-releases that got to happen. It got picked up and so the other two books in the series are like getting re-released and so I went ahead and I just bought the, the next two paperback editions. I even got the audios because I was like I really don't want to wait for these books to come out again. I know it's not going to be that much longer. I think they they'll come out like by the end of the year but I still don't want to wait. I want to be able to just read them when I'm ready. So I snagged these, I snagged um, Glow of the Everflame and then Heat of the Everflame as well um, in hopes that I will hopefully be ready for the last book when it comes out. But can we talk about how massive these books are? Compa okay, like this is the first one and then the second one, which okay, to be expected, it's the second one. It's going to be a little chunkier, but can we talk about the third one? <laughs> Like, why is it this big? <laughs> I don't understand. It's too big. So, <laughs> that was my little birthday haul. And by little, I mean a lot. But that was my birthday haul. Um, I really had fun this past month just kind of, like, treating myself to things and just reading what I wanted. And so, yeah, I'm really happy. July is always, like, my best kind of reading month for me. And just, like... I think my best month of just living so love that thank you guys so much for watching if you watched this far let me know what you think of any of the books that I've shown you if you like any of them if you think I'll like any of them leave all that in the comment section if you're not good at commenting leave me an emoji leave me a summer e summer emoji anyone that makes you think of summer and if you want to see keep seeing more videos from me please hit the subscribe button you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds